Yeah, 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 Squally, I'm back in the bitch, booted the fuck up. Alright, on a 528 love tip. I do this out of love for you motherfuckers. Okay. I don't want these by my head. So. I, do, I, do, I do this out of love, and so does my girl. My crows, you hear in the background going. Yeah, you're there going nuts out there. Crew. Four or five. My crew, crew mocking my magic, I'll bite it. You know what I'm saying? They making that magic work. They swirling around in the wind. It's all type of swirly windstorms, and they just swirling around in the wind out here. Yeah, yeah, they're flying towards it and then coasting backwards. It's pretty cool. Coming in here looking in the apartment because they're getting the transient information. Now let me break this down real quick. Birds or the mediums, they hear the, they hear this. They're operating on these waves. What Lex Luthor saying, uh, Superman? That little black box. That little black box tracks alpha waves. Why? Because the brain works in beta. I'm highly in beta right now. I'll slap the shit out of all you motherfuckers. Don't play games with me. Talk to you trolls. You know what it is. Subscribers, I'll slap hands with you because you know I'll fuck with you. Trolls supporting, hating on the loop. Yeah, and hating just on like on Superman. Cool, cool. Everybody should know this by now. Just like on Superman. The, the little black box. Mm -hmm. Like in the Superman. Mm -hmm. Okay? Tracks alpha waves. When, when a plane crashes. What's left? The little black box mm -hmm. with all the information on it. Yeah. The, of the events that happened at the before the plane crashed. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's crazy. But you know, but but this is the real this is the real purpose of the little black box that Lex Luthor's talking about. It's tracking alpha waves. It's tracking alpha brain waves, man. And alpha waves are yep. being giving off by, from some being or some place that it should not be giving off that much. All right. Now, I said I'm working in beta, but, you know, I'm like some BA. I'm like some beta alpha motherfucker because, see, let me tell you why. I don't mean beta as in the weak. Beta is the first stage of brain activity when you're fully conscious. Alpha is when your brain state is a little bit slower than that mm -hmm. and has been modified to be altered. And the brain waves, it's like a sound wave. It doesn't have as many cycles, and it goes by hertz. And that's electrical current, okay, and ohms and stuff like that because... Sound and electricity are actually kind of like measured in the same um, units, but they're called different like ohms and hertz and blah, blah, blah. But hertz is used for sound. Come on. Audio engineer mixing, <clears throat> mastering. Come on. You got to know what hertz you're in to be equalizing, right? Mm -hmm. You got to scoop out some of the mud. You got to tame the bass. You got to make the high end shine, but not too, you know, harsh because you'll pierce the eardrums. If the high hats are too hard, people's eardrums will be bleeding out there. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? So... If you're tracking alpha waves, you're trying to track the uh, the power move. Well, well, that's good. But it's funny because birds can hear worms turn the soil. But if the soil is being turned and that's like one or two hertz, that's even below the stage of REM sleep. And REM sleep hertz brain waves are very low. It's like four or something. Mm -hmm. So if you give it, but but what is funny is you can look it up on Google. You can actually hear the earthworms turning the soil. Go mm -hmm. look it up. I'm not playing games with you. That's how birds can hear. But if birds can hear that, and even we can hear that, birds are definitely most definitely psychic because they're less dense than us. So the sound travels through them, and the sound is like in a projection. I mean, the I mean honestly, when you listen to birds outside, does the sound stop? It projects into your house no matter where you're at because you can hear it if the windows are open or closed. Get real. Yeah, you can hear a crow calling. Our blue jay making their choo -choo. get real, man. You can't That's why you can hear it. Duh. Yeah, so basically it travels. Basically, what I'm saying is, I'm on y'all level. I'm on the brain waves. You guys need to stop because this is stupid, man. You're do you're dealing you're dealing with the dumb dumb here. Not that I'm dumb, but I'll get dumb stupid on you and then you won't like it. You'll be trying to call people like, oh my god, he's. He's this, he's that. It's like, no, motherfucker, I'm just not taking your shit. I'm not this and I'm not that. They're trying to paint it out like it's all screwed up. They're trying to manipulate Jason or something and, and, and make him be a me, 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 you know, like, man, get out of here, man. They're trying to bring something out. And then it's like, last year you guys trying to frame me as being just negligent parent and shit, trying to get all this bullshit on me, had all these different agencies on me, including detectives who was retarded, man. I said to myself, like, geez, man. But we I'm both just... shot them down. And it's yeah. dumb to do it in a city where I know people. Mm -hmm. Fairly well, and they know me. So yeah. as soon as I walked in, yeah, and the yeah. detective saw me, 
He's like, oh man, you know this guy? Yeah, man, I've been with him for four years. I think I know him a little bit. Yeah, I think a little bit a lot because it'll be four years pretty soon. You guys are stupid. Stop doing this shit. You're going to regret it because your plan, your plans to do this stuff, is really, really dumb. Because the reason why it's dumb is because you're trying to make me look like somebody I'm not. You're never going to be able to do it because the proof's in the pudding. Right. Go My after girl other people. That talks are to me. Really she retarded. Me. She's around me. She's involved with me. You feel? You feel what I'm saying? I talk to other people, other people every day. And, they're, and they'll vow, they'll stand up and vouch for me willingly, without any questions asked. If I said, yo, vouch for me, they'll be like, man, hands down, all right, whatever the fuck up I need and send it to you or whatever. Mm -hmm. I know they will. My, uh, my OG, uh, OG uh, Gaston, he'll definitely stand up. Yeah, that's, my, that's my homie. He reminds me of my pap, Centaur Man. You know him. Captain Bread. You know him. So don't play games with me. Gotta put a little twang on the speech. I'm not speaking that fluent, a little bit, a little bit twang on it. But try to calm the energy down, get a little erratic, screaming at the cameras, I'm tired. So is my girl. Yeah, the manipulation. We just want to live in peace and harmony like they did back in the day, man. And we will. And so and will everybody will. else. We're going to force these. And you want to force, gonna force everybody to do it, man. You're going to force some dumb shit at school and dumb shit in your agency and your government and all this other shit? Yeah. No. Hell no. No. Now we're going to force the bullshit back. All right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be force feeding with a, with a wooden spoon right across your ass. We're going to feed you this beating. This verbal beating. We're not doing it. They did that. Okay, they sick. They sick first graders on my kid. I know they're trying to do, try to bring him out to beat somebody up so they can try to label him as a bully. Blah blah blah. That shit mm -hmm. didn't work because I told Jay, man, they're retarded. Just ignore him. But man, I know the pharmacy young. had something to do with it because they probably know somebody at the pharmacy, and you know what I'm saying. They probably saw somebody from the school down there. It's slick. It's slick shit. The people who manipulate stuff. You know not what you're getting into today. I'm telling you shit. And we know this for a fact. This is the crazy part. Duh, you're messing with somebody that's a nurse. I know medicine. I know if you, I can, if I look at a pill or something, I know the difference in it. I know the numbers. I know it all. I know pharmacology in and out. I am a chemist at that. Yeah, you know? oops. And you guys got fucking stunned on that because guess what? She fucking showed me the proof about the pills. I was like, wow. I was like, I look, these are, are football shaped. The other ones we were getting at the other pharmacy. Look like little, little look, circles. Almost like Claritin D's, those yeah, little allergy man. pills. That's probably what they did. If I was giving him Claritin D or something, if we didn't even know it, and they just right. put a different and standpoint. And Claritin D would make, sometimes would make kids yeah. sleepy. Yeah, or hyperactive or the, the, the counter effect because of what you told me. Like the, the Benadryl. That, yeah, yeah, the Benadryl with the ADHD kids because that's what, that's what people don't get. You try to, like, parents be like, oh, I'm going to give my kids some sleepy medicine because he's too hyper. It's like, no, motherfucker, you need to get that brain checked out because there's a synapse problem. Now, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a misfire. It's a, oh, I can't sit still. I jump every time to it. Do they rip it? Yeah. Like, oh, and, they, and back in the day, kid <laughs> parents used to give their kids Tylenol and Benadryl. You mm -hmm. know what that is together? Tylenol PM, goofs, look at the label on the box. So you're giving your kids sleep medicine during the freaking day. Yeah, and that's dumb because then you're making them further, you're further retarding the fucking retarded process. And then half of the time, it'll do the opposite effect because their little brains can't handle it. They mm -hmm. have a lot of energy and, and right. things going, synapses going on in their brain. Right. That's just misfire like an it's engine, like, like when you need a tune-up. What the heck did my parents just give me? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like it's like having down, a car. Oh, why aren't they calming down and falling asleep and stuff? Oh, because it does the opposite when somebody's got their brains going a million different synapses and a million times a fucking And it's minute. misfiring like a car that needs a tune-up, like wires and spark plugs. And <laughs> like, It'll whoa. go a little bit... You think it's a transmission problem and shit, but it's like an easy tune-up. I'm not even no mechanic. See, look, listen. Listen, high school education, let me tell you some of my trades, baby. I know I work on cars a little something, something. So do yeah. I. You know what I mean? That's weird. She's so crazy. That's so crazy. That's special. because my dad was a mechanic. That's man. a special girl right there, man. <laughs> if your girl don't know how to change oil or change freaking tire, dude, goodbye. Get get You're out. stupid. Get out. Go how get help. clean and do that? Oh, oh God. But well, right. what happens if your shit broke down on you while I wasn't there? And I had no way to get there. I'd have to deal with some dumb prissy ass motherfucker that wanted to take it. Ew, I gotta touch the oil cap and fucking break it now. 
Yeah, and calling yeah, triple A and shit. Show it up your nose, man. Yeah, that's why I, I hate. I hate the way society's becoming. Today. That's where I'm gonna stomp you motherfuckers out and back into recognition, so you guys can know what the hell it is. And you didn't have all stuff. these. You, there's things in life they don't even have um, home ec and stuff in yeah. high school no more. So you can learn how to cook, yeah, clean. They don't, they don't teach you none of this shit. Do the laundry. So people here nowadays they don't know how to sew a button. They don't know how to do a zipper. So if something happens, you what do you guys do? Oh, I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage and go buy mm -hmm. a new one because you're so freaking lazy and so stupid. And and ladies and ladies, when you got when you when you ladies post stuff on internet like your shells and mac and cheese and stuff, I can tell you didn't bake it in the oven. It was made <laughs> in a pot that came out of a box. Look at my nice so, so, dinner. So, so ladies, I just want to say this to you as a man. A you got that masculine. out of the box. As a divine masculine, let me please speak this to you ladies right now. Cooking out of the box is not cooking at all. You need to step your shit up because macaroni is made in the oven. That's damn near easy mac, but it's not as sleazy. Nope, you make it's it on that. top of the oven, for, or top of the stove first, and then you put it in the oven. So get some help. That's it's called home ec help. Learn to cook, go on a cooking channel, and get schooled because you need help. I don't. I cook really fucking good. My I do too. for it, and she does too. Damn, man, she's killing me by the good. We both do. We both overfill ourselves. Now, there's no. some things I don't know how to do. Like, I help them with the chili and spaghetti and all that stuff. Yeah. Because he knows how to make that bomb bag. Yeah, but, but I just like her company in the kitchen because that's what, a, you know, and then my son comes in, a, you know what I'm saying? My son comes in the kitchen too sometimes, but he's already on his own tangent because he has work to do. Now, okay, now let's get on to the first. Let's further, let's further get into this topic. So, yeah, continue they're trying to, on. They're trying, they're trying to do all this and push this stuff. This so. agenda, so now, but the agenda is really to frame me or whatever, make me out to be like I'm some fucked up person. Now, now they're trying to say I'm the, I'm, I'm the fucked up husband now. There's somebody because forever. First, bad dad. Yeah, bad yeah. Bad dad syndrome. Yeah, bad dad. Oh, bullshit. he's a single father. He's a piece of shit. No yada. Yada oh, he yada. Works home. Yeah, right. It's bullshit. Or he does the other he's jobs. Like, oh, and he's like, oh, he's weird, man. He's weird, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm busy, my father. You don't want to come down. He never wants to come to open house. Dude, it's because I don't need to go down to open house. I don't house. need to go to open house. Show my face. You already yada, seen yada, me yada. from last year. That's what I'm saying. They already seen me from last year. Everybody in that school knows me. If I go there, I'll stand a hammer, hair, get gray, fall out, and I'll leave. Right, because we were in there <laughs> multitudes of times, and not, it wasn't for open house. It was our own open house, and we went down there yeah. and said, no, you're going to open the doors, and you're going to talk to us yeah, now. motherfucker. And, and, and stop and feet. Boom, boom, And every time we go down there, at least when I go down there, the principal give me oh god look and roll her eyes. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna knock your head all the way back and your head and your eyeballs are gonna roll. Hey you dumbass bitch. You wanna motherfucking do that shit to me and my girl, but you be pleasant to everybody else? No, you're not gonna single us out and try to treat us mm -hmm. like a motherfucking disease. Because bitch, let me tell you something. I don't even mean to use that language, but you are a bitch, because guess what my son says about you? You got anger issues and you're always screaming at somebody. But I know that you ain't got him segregated from school, sitting alone with you in and the office no more, and um you ain't yelling at him, and you bet not, and you better stop tampering with him because if you keep tampering with him, he's not the only one that said that either. I yeah. heard a whole bunch of other children Oops. that I know personally say that that woman is very mean and shouldn't be a principal. And, and she and screams all and all this shit. And, and she, she looks like a butchy ass. And she yelled. Uh, man hater too. On top of that, the day I went in there with her, <laughs> she she had she had this little, and I don't mean to be saying what color or whatever, but she had a little girl in there. I don't care what she was, white or black, man. But she was yelling at that little girl, like, whoa. And yeah. I'm like, man, really, what did this little girl actually really do? Mm -hmm. What did she really do that you're going to scream her head off like that and make her almost cry? Mm -hmm. You're evil. Yeah, they're, but see, that's conditioning. That's conditioning done behind school walls that you know not about because people don't really talk unless your kid will open up to you, which I'm glad my son does. And you guys aren't going to tamper with how he opens up to me because guess what? I got all the keys to the locks. And if you keep he playing around, I'm going to smash all your head with rocks. And if he doesn't, get off my job. We split it. We, we you know, split his head, but not really for real. Like, we opened his brain up and be like, Jay. Sit here and talk to us and tell us what is going on. I said I had keys to his head. I said I'm going to stone them for fucking trying to tamper with my kid. Yeah, exactly. Saying, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm telling you that you and I both go into his brain. And crack the locks off. We crack off. his, yes. And you know we, we have him do that. We're cordial conversation, though. That's how right. we do it. We stop not buddy. Yell. We're like, dude, can you tell us, go back, tell us what happened. Yeah, bust it down real quick for me. Let me understand you, Let man. Let me understand what is going on. Or overstand. See, now, if you were on that stupid tip with all those things from last year, oh, talk to me, blah, 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 email stuff, 
you would never know that stuff unless you had time to go back in your day mm -hmm. and go on a, another device and go mm -hmm. on your email to look and see mm -hmm. what your child had to do that day mm -hmm. instead of sitting down like we do and talking yeah. with them about it. And guess what? And guess what else though? And that's a further way they can sabotage shit like this because they'll be like, okay, we got this shit set up and you ain't talking to your kid face to face and you do it on a dumbass device and you got some shots up. Uh, guess what? Guess what happens, man? They go say shit because you and your kid don't really interact and all this other dumb shit. Mm -hmm. It's programming. Distancing, it, distancing, it, distancing. It's distancing. subliminal programming, man. It's that SP shit. It's like they want to do everything on a low low. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not hating on anybody that is that way. However, there should not be kids that are boys that are like 10, 11 years old, 9, 10, 11 years old, outside Wearing with a unicorn. unicorn. Costumes mm -hmm. on. Yeah, which is where we're which is where we're going to get to because we're going to get to this Halloween shit. Now these motherfuckers, some somebody. Okay, well his teacher says to him, she waits till all the kids leave out of class. And at the end, end of the day. At the end of the day. School she, day. She pulls him aside, and says, "Hey Jay, um, was your dad yelling at stepmom last night or somebody else? Who was he very upset at?" And he's like, "I don't know. I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying?" But it's like, dude, we were out trick or treating until like it went on from seven to eight. We were outside until Six like eight. Or, or yes, uh, it was six two hours. Yeah, yeah. We so were we outside. were there almost till like seven thirty, quarter till. <clears throat> yeah, like almost eight, eight o'clock, like seven forty something, right? like, like something like that. But we came in the house, we ate dinner, and went to bed. So the school's in there trying to sit there and say, "Who was I yelling at? What the fuck are y'all talking about?" Yeah, they just want to stir the pot. Yeah, I mean, he's yelling at mom or someone else. It's like, why do I need to yell at her for? What 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 the fuck are y'all talking about? We were all out as a family in harmony. Trick or treating, all dressed up. What people don't understand is if you stir the <laughs> I was I was Jason with a machete. Right. Brother. She was Harley Quinn. My son was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Well, um, he was uh, the one with the um, size, Raphael. Yeah. The red, the red one. So. <laughs> so. Get the fuck he, out of here, like, man. I don't understand that. And then I go and email the teacher immediately when he says this, and yeah. I try to call the school mm -hmm. at. Four, I think it was four fifteen, mm -hmm. and usually they're there till mm -hmm. like four thirty or so. Yeah, but all well, of a sudden, they all of a sudden, there. not a soul was in the school, not even the secretary mm -hmm. answered the phone. Yeah. So I find that odd, mm -hmm. and and I have got, I have received emails promptly from this from this teacher. Yeah. Lots of times, seven o'clock in the morning, seven o six a.m. One time, I yeah. got it on my super day. prompt. And I also got it one time in the evening at four forty in the evening. Yeah, exactly. So, I do not understand if this person, teacher, saw my email either last night or this morning. Why am I not getting a phone call now? But I told you this, though. I told you this in the kitchen before we even started doing these tapes, before we ever even got started. When you called yesterday and you did that, and you left that message, the secretary heard that shit, and they were like, all right, I know what they're doing. They're going to sit there and try to stall this shit. They think they're going to Yeah, because they're going to build the same thing. We're going to build up rage and be all mad by the time they do call, if they call. Yeah, but guess or what? Or get we're us not. to come down there and act stupid. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. I know. If we get down there, we're going to talk stupid, but we're going to do it very cordially, and their hair's going to turn white and fall out like they got fucking leukemia. I'm telling you that. Yeah, Everybody's because gonna they're gonna, their, their mouths are going to drop open because they're uh -huh. not going to know what to say or do. Yeah, I can't Because we wait. are going to talk to them. I Out the wait. sides of our neck, but in a nice, cordial, professional way. Yeah, but and you're going to melt. But see, but 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 we're going to get into this elephant. And why this is even here? Because we're going to talk about we're going to talk about dreams. Because paying attention to dreaming, very, is very, very important. It's very, very deep because you're in REM state. You are in lucid sleep. Let me explain. Everything becomes out of place in lucid dreaming. One of my dreams happened to be, or both of these dreams happened to be in the town that I live in. But in the dream. The town was a little bit more upscale. Um, things were out of place, like Papa Jay's in one of the dreams was already burnt and tore down like it is now, and it's weird, blah, blah, blah. But things were just a little bit more upscale. It was like an upscale pro town, a little bit. You know? Now, what I'm telling you is, you have to pay attention to dreams. In the dreams, we notice a couple things. Now, it, this is my personal dream. This elephant, I gave this to the neighbor. Okay, this right here. What elephant means, that type of elephant in particular, white elephant with all the draped garments. I know that the camera's blurry. I'm going to bash it with a hammer. It's slapping. royalty for one. Yeah, but this is also an advancement because you pass it off to someone else, which is what I did in dream. I gave it to this chick, which is odd. Me and my girl discussed this. She's like, wow, it's crazy. And um, 
it was like a peace offering, you know, she, but she's not here no more, so we doubt. But I know the chick didn't like me, was talking shit on me, blah, blah, blah. I already told you, these neighbors live around here, slam doors and think it's funny. But they know that the hammer will get slammed on her head, so I don't come to mind. If they so they don't like me, they know that. But that elephant, that same elephant there, that's going to puree your asses, right? Because you're playing games. You're playing games with elephant. You're playing games with something real heavy here. You don't really want an elephant to step on you, let alone stampede and puree and bounce on your ass, and maybe fall on you lastly before it gets up. Or a few hundred of them. You don't really want that because, see, if you guys keep playing these games here, see, what's going to happen is, is we're going to send these elephants through the school now. Now, I mean this metaphorically speaking, but the power of the elephant and the power of the word See, you'll get finessed. You don't want that. Because when I finesse you, I'm going to break your ankles. Because you just try to chase and play games. Uh, like on a hoop court. Ankles broken. Juke the shit out your ass. Shook you up like a pit bull. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Full lock jaw on your ass, shaking you around like a rag doll, man. Playing tug of war with your ass. And you can't even fight back. Because I got you by the throat. I flex the throat often. That's the blue chakra, man. I go in between areas, mainly operating in that green and that purple because you know the word of Gory House 528, baby, you know how it's going down, Crudle Town, boo. I boot it up. Boot it up. So you going to use this agenda? I'm the, bad, I'm the bad husband. Get the fuck out of here, man. I don't do nothing. But First this, it was the bad dad, now it's the bad husband. You guys really think this or is going to work? crazy... Crazy man flipping out on everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, man, whatever. Mm -hmm. You guys think that's actually going to work? It's when you wait work. and you pulled him at the end of the day, and you couldn't have the uh, common sense to call the parents up instead of asking a seven-year-old that's on medication. Who already is known for lying because he lied before, which is why um, he got in trouble before. <laughs> and why he needed to get evaluated before. Mm -hmm. And be on medication. And why I was under scrutiny before. So why in the heck was... Oh, a good look on whoever was taking pictures of me this summer while I was doing my little monkey thing hanging from the trees on a one-arm exercise and shit. I hope you like what you saw, motherfucker. You better stay away from me. If I'm doing that, I'll punch your lights out, right? So you better stop that and I'll break your fucking camera barehanded. I'll bend that shit like the dude did on Superman when they came in um, the little um, Planet Daily News and they and he broke um, Jimmy Olsen's camera. You better fucking stop, man. I'm telling you that. And guess who can prove, guess who can vouch for me? OG Gaskin can. And I thought, they, and they pulling up, they pulling up in local light cars. I thought it was my girl and her friend taking pictures of me, spying on me because of whatever reasons, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't. <laughs> Hear that squeak? That window needs WD-40. Let me mm -hmm. tell you something about these doors and these windows. I wanted to prove it. Good luck. They, they like to make this stuff squeaky and shit so that everybody can hear you coming in and out to the apartment, open up your windows, everybody yeah, half of them don't have common sense to so be like, oh, go buy yourself some damn W40 and spray it and then it won't be so squeaky. Our door ain't squeaky. Everybody else's is because yeah. they're stupid. Yeah. Everybody but says the society wanted everything Big Brother this, Big Brother that, blah, 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 blah. Man, Big Brother about to get his ass whooped. That's all anybody ever needs to do anymore. That's all they ever do anymore. That's all y'all do. Gossip, this, that, spread rumors, gossip. That's and as soon as something goes down, what do you do? Pull out your camera. Oh, camera. You know what that is, though? Let me tell you what that is. That's that, that's that, that's that feminist bullshit agenda. And it's see? fear, too, man. It's like, I understand that some people, um, especially African Americans, black people, whatever you want to call it, they are being profiled, just blah, 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 with the cops, and I understand that. But there's other motherfuckers that got fucked up by the cops, too. White people. Yeah, um, Puerto Ricans, Indians, man. Nobody. They fuck with other people other than black people. Yeah. But I understand why some people want to start recording because there are certain times like that it you needs need to, to so you can protect yourself in a court yeah. of law. Not, because, not just all the fucking time. Because we all know how that, that is. Most everybody nowadays, there's cameras on the, on the freaking uh, street signs. And I'm shit. surprised my apartment ain't got cameras watching me walk around pick my nose when I do it. But at least I wash my hands when I'm done. What the fuck? <laughs> But I that's mean, funny. That's they funny. They can't do though. that right at this moment because right now that's no man. That's it. That's super invading. And it ain't no American will be with that. Oh motherfucker! Why y'all need to be watching how I live at home? You're retarded. Yeah, now. man. 
like the movie anyway on the state was they had everybody looking that satellites bouncing off everything like man, that go watch awful. that that's Will Smith man he didn't even want to get involved and somebody made him get involved because he dropped the, uh, information off that these Boo, I don't know. Enemy state, oh, don't do this. Don't don't hit them with the redundancies. No, I'm, no, I'm just saying, I'm like, saying that is that. what it is. Like, it's just dumb. It's, the cameras are everywhere anymore. On the street signs, on the streets, on the corners, everywhere. No one's safe no more. You got, and it's because that's the way they are. Mm-hmm. They all like that camera. And they like all those stupid filters. And now guys are doing it too, like, weirdos. To me, when I see a dude doing that, putting flowers around your head, then you're... Like, Wardy Witch just walked past her car, but when she walked past it, she walked real close so she could look at herself in a fucking reflection. That is... They see that? Weirdo. And she's ugly as hell. What is there to look at, lady? You look like a fucking witch. She is a troll 100 in human form. And she, she got is her hair a troll. She, had, she got her hair all wet. Like, she's trying to look cute. She's probably going down there to eat lunch. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? These dreams. Because these dreams lead up to stuff. My girl had a dream where people were rushing, rushing the house, but like you know what I'm saying, I'm in an apartment, but we was in the house in the dream. She pushed some chick off the thing in the dream. She broke her neck and blah, blah, blah. There's other silhouettes of people we know who can't mm-hmm. say names. Got the and she was still alive whoever I pushed off the thing. My mom was also rushing the crib, but she was rushing from the side to knock the silhouettes out like the charging bull she is. And I'm down there bashing heads in with the hammer because, you know, that's just what I do. They're not coming in the, the house. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the guard dog. Don't come in here with the wolf wolf. Wolf. I'll, fucking, Wolf. I'll fucking bite your ass to no end and drinketh. Eateth and drinketh, man. Break bread. Like the last supper. Break bread. When I bust your head. Don't try to come do that. Their dreams are letting me know what we gotta do. You guys gotta fight. And I'm telling this shit to you because, you know what I'm saying, subscribers. Because you cannot be docile, man. You cannot be a little bitch. I don't care if you a man or a female. You cannot be a little pussy, man. You gotta stand your ground. Get up. Stand it. Stop feet. Don't let them get fit. twisted up. Hold. And let and let them know. You gotta let them be. You gotta do it just like that. What my girl said. What I said. You gotta do that shit. Just like that. You no. Know?